What's up everybody, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the top rappers that I listen to. These aren't necessarily the top rappers in the world. They're just the top rappers that I listen to on a regular basis. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off strong with Dr. Dre. In my opinion, anybody who listens to rap music probably heard of Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is an amazing artist on his own. He's also the person who discovered Eminem, who is, in my opinion, one of the greatest rappers of all time. A few years ago, he was also inducted into the Hall of Fame with the rap group NWA, and he has also had some success on his own with songs like Still Dre, Forgot About Dre, and I Need a Doctor. He is one of my favorite rappers of all time, that's why I had to include him on this list. Next up is somebody that maybe not everybody will agree with me here, but it is Akon. The reason he's on my list is because he can go from really soft and sweet to a hardcore rap really quick. A lot of his songs I'm a huge fan of. I can honestly relate with a lot of the stuff he says in his songs. A lot of his songs, in my opinion, are genius and they are a good vibe. To me, that makes for a good artist right there. He also has a very unique accent, which makes his voice really interesting it makes me honestly want to listen to more sadly though he doesn't do much music anymore he is mainly a producer right now and he's finding a lot more talent so akon is the one that discovered lady gaga and to me that is pretty interesting even though i'm not into her type of music it is pretty cool when an artist can discover another great artist next up we have proof honestly i've always been a huge fan of proof sadly he died years ago if it wasn't for that one night i honestly believe that proof probably would have been the next big artist he was really good in his songs he really knew how to tell a story he could rhyme two words that don't usually rhyme together he could put them in a verse make it make sense and make them rhyme it was really interesting what he did he had a lot of genius raps a lot of things he said were really really cool and it made you stop and think of what he just said i strongly believe if it wasn't for his death he either on his own as a single rapper he would have probably separated from d12 he could have done his own thing and been really successful at that or him and eminem could have probably teamed up and they would have had a great success there but he is on my list because he is one of my favorite rappers. Even though he did die years ago, he is an amazing rapper and I think he would have done amazing in today's day and age. Next, we have Machine Gun Kelly, MGK. Honestly, I used to not like his music back in the day, but it honestly grew on me. I'm a huge fan of MGK right now. He's an amazing rapper. A lot of his songs I can also relate to, a lot of the messages and a lot of things he tries to say. So that's why I'm a huge fan of his. A lot of his songs are meaningful. They can go from really cool, interesting, almost like a pop vibe, but then it can go right back into the rapping. And he is an amazing rapper. He knows how to put out the verses. So that's why I had to include him on my list as well. An amazing artist, somebody that I honestly look up to, and it's really interesting the stuff he can come up with on his own. It's really cool in my opinion. Okay, so next up, this one here I know a lot of people probably won't agree with, and that is Mike Shinoda. You might be unaware that Mike Shinoda was Fort Minor. That was kind of his persona for his rapper name back whenever he was doing the rap gimmick and was producing rap songs. But he still did a lot of his rapping in that in Linkin Park. And as I've already mentioned before, Linkin Park is one of my favorite bands because they were very diverse. They could go from a really catchy pop song to a really meaningful rap song and literally everything in between. And Mike Shinoda did a great job when in Linkin Park. And I think it's pretty interesting that he can go from really soft in his songs to rapping full out rapping which is amazing. It's great to have somebody that can transition into that in the same song and it's really meaningful. So of course, he's one of my favorite rappers of all time. A lot of people probably don't agree with me, but he's somebody that I can listen to on end song after song and it's really amazing for me. Next up, I have a Canadian artist which a lot of fans of rap music probably never heard of and that is up first is Mercules. Mercules has quite a few cover songs where he'll take a nice beat of a song that has already come out and he will rap over it and he'll kind of put his thoughts and opinions into whatever scenario of rap it was or whatever kind of scenario the song was. It's really interesting. He did a cover for Ed Sheeran's Shape of You, which is one of my favorite covers that Mercules has ever done. It is a really good vibe. I recommend listening to it. 
but he has also done stuff on his own. He has his own original raps and it is amazing. He's a great artist. I recommend checking him out if you have not heard of him. Next up, we have another Canadian artist, Classified. I can be honest when I say his newest album, I am not a fan of as of right now. I hope to really listen to it in full whenever I, the whole thing comes out. But some of the songs on it so far are not a vibe with me. They do not sound like him, but a lot of his music is amazing. He knows how to rap. He knows how to put things together and he is very interesting. So I recommend checking him out. Like I said, he is Canadian. He knows what he is doing and he's an artist who I've always looked up to. I've always started purchasing his music a couple years ago. I actually discovered him a couple years ago when in high school. He's very, very talented. He knows kind of what he is doing and it's really amazing that another Canadian is doing it. Next up is another Canadian, Snack the Ripper. I know a lot of people probably just hear the name and they do not want to listen to him, but I do recommend checking him out. He is honestly genius when it comes to his raps and his verses. He has a very unique and raspy voice, which makes me really want to come back and listen to more just because of how unique it is. A lot of stuff he says in his songs are really cool and unique messages. His father passed away, I believe it was last year, and he made a song called Ashes about it. And it brings out a lot of emotions of what he was going through at the time. Recently, he had his first child and he made a rap song about everything that was going on at the time. So a lot of his raps are meaningful and I do recommend checking them out. They're pretty interesting and I'm a huge fan of Snack the Ripper. Next up is literally the only female rapper that I listen to and it is Nova Rockefeller. She is an amazing, talented woman. She knows how to rap and she's really good at it. Nova does it in such a way that everything makes sense and honestly, she can honestly out-rap quite a few rappers. She is an amazing, talented woman. She is an amazing artist. I do love listening to her. I do have a lot of her stuff on iTunes, so I recommend if you never heard of her, checking her out. She is drop-dead gorgeous, so that is a bonus, but her music makes a lot of sense to me and I can resonate with it because of that. So, last up, in my opinion, is the greatest rapper of all freaking time. A lot of people already know because I've already said this before and that is Eminem. Eminem in my opinion is the greatest rapper of all time. He always will be. He always has been. I know a lot of people would rather see other people ahead of him but in my opinion I don't think he's going anywhere. I know Revival was a little bit of a touchy album whenever he released it last year but I think he's doing a really good job. I think he's not done with rap. I hope he's not done with rap. I hope he continues for years. He's had so many hits, he's had so many albums, I don't know why he would stop now, but it might be because of the money. Because he has a lot of money, in my opinion, he doesn't need to continue with the rap, but he does such a freaking good job. He was the first white rapper to really make such a huge impact and make people want to listen. In my opinion, he's the best white rapper out there hands down, and he's also the best rapper out there, hands down, in my opinion. These are all my opinions. I am entitled to them. However, I do want to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know. Have you guys heard of everybody I just mentioned? Is there somebody that you guys think I haven't heard of that you guys think I should check out? Recommend them down in the comments as well. But these are the top artists I listened to. There was so many I could have put on this list, but that would have literally been an hour-long video, and I did not want to do that to you guys. So... I am leaving this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Did you like this style of video? Should I do another one with other artists? Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.